How's it going, everybody? Today, I'm back on NHL 17. I don't know if anybody's really done it on NHL before. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be jumping into the creation zone, and I'm going to show you how I make jerseys. It's kind of going to be like a custom jersey tutorial, because some people might find it kind of hard when they're trying to make jerseys and, and stuff, but it's not really that difficult. And I'm going to show you a method that I use that makes it pretty simple. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to jump right into the create team thing here. So what I like to do is I like to uh, get my team colors ready going first. So I just like to pick three colors that I'm going to be using. So I'll pick this yellow one. I'll pick the red one. Uh, I think I have it in recent colors. Yeah, okay. Red. And then I'm going to pick a navy blue as well. Which these are the three colors that I think I'm going to be going with for my jersey. So I pick those three team colors. I don't pick a logo or any of these yet because... Uh, sometimes you don't really know which logo you want. What I do is I just get the colors going and I apply it to the team uniform. So, go to the home uniform here, and instead of jumping into the jersey, picking a style, and just, like, applying each color, like, as we go, I like to apply the team colors to the jersey first. So there we go, I like to apply it like that. I'll go apply it to the away one as well, and then... I will apply it to the alternate as well. Now that I have my team colors, I'm going to jump into the logos, and I'm going to try and pick a logo that I want to use for this for this team. I think I'm going to use the Colorado Rockies logo because I really like it. I'm going to go well with the jersey that I'm going to try and make after this. So I'm just going to make a make it right here. I think I'm going to make that dark. And I'll make this the red color. And the outline is going to be yellow, I believe. Yeah, I'll make that. No, I don't like that color. Yeah, I like that one better. That yellow looks nicer. So this is the jer this is the logo that I'm going to be throwing onto the jersey right now. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not going to worry about the secondary marks just yet because I want to just apply the logo and get the jersey going first and then afterwards put on the finishing touches on the shoulders and the helmet. So I don't really like this color scheme. I don't really like this style that much either, but I have the colors on there already. So I'm going to pick out a jersey style. It's pretty much all preference, just whatever jersey style you want. You can go through them and... Just click on each one, and it'll give you a display of what the jersey looks like. So, I'm just going to go through here. This jersey, I believe, and this one, they're kind of meant for the alternate jersey because they're kind of funky and they're different than the other ones. I really like jersey style 19. That's probably my favorite style in the game, and I'm probably going to use that one for this, uh, for this jersey here. So, I'm going to jump into the colors, and I'm going to just change them up a little bit because I want it to be... I want the... The base color to be blue on my jersey and then i'm gonna throw on the logo so that i have everything on my jersey like set and then i'm ready to start designing it so i have my logo there and i haven't put anything on the on the shoulder patch yet i will later i'm just gonna mess around with these colors until i find something that i like zone four is always going to be that uh, the lettering on the back of your jersey so you want to go back and review that and make sure it's not the same color as the shoulder patches i'm just going to jump in here i'm going to change this up i'm going to make this navy instead because i don't want yeah i want to make that navy instead and then I believe that in between the red, you can change that color as well. So I'm going to hope to hopefully do that. Yeah, okay. There we go. So I'm going to change that up. I think I'm going to make the shoulders blue. That might look a little nicer. And then I'm going to try to make the line cross it red. And then that might look a little bit better. Okay, no, that's not what I want. They don't really like highlight which zone is which. So it's kind of just like a guess kind of thing. And then eventually you'll get it. I think this is looking pretty nice already. And I don't know if I'm going to make any changes at all to that. What about the collar? Does that look pretty good? I think the collar looks pretty nice too. So I'm going to move on to the fonts here. There's a whole bunch of fonts you can try in this game. This font has like the lines on the back of the uh, on the back of the number there, which I think is pretty cool. Some fonts, you'll be able to change the color of the name on the back. Some fonts, you won't. I wish you could adjust the, the height and like the size of the font in the back. That'd be kind of cool. You can do that in NBA, I know. Basically, I'm just going to be flipping through all these, and I'm just going to be seeing which ones I like. That one I really like, but it only works on some kind of jerseys. Like, some jerseys, it doesn't look very nice, and some it will. I do like that one. I'm going to try and use this one here. There's all kinds of different font styles you can use. You can do one where it is black on the, on the inside, and the outlining is a different color. Or you can do one that's just a completely different color on the base there. So, I'm gonna do, let's say I'll do yellow there. And then the outlining is going to be blue, which is going to be pretty cool. So you can do that. But I don't really like how the blue is backing onto the actual jersey color. So I might switch the red and the blue here. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. I like I like that so far. And I'm also going to change the inside of this color to make it yellow too to match the back of the jersey there. I really like that back of that jersey. That looks so nice. Okay, we're going to change this up. We're going to make this yellow. 
and then the outlining I'm gonna make it red there we go so ah, actually, I don't know if I like that let me try putting it as blue and seeing if that makes a difference. I don't know which one I like better. I think I'm gonna just leave it this. I think I'm gonna leave it at blue. So once you get past here, oftentimes zone one, two, and three are the number on the back. Uh, zone four is zone four is either if you have a, a name that that like if your name can only have one color on it, it'll be zone four. Uh, this time it's zone 4 and 5 because they're, you can put two colors on there. Zone 6, 7, and 8 are going to be the arm one. And then the last zones are going to be the one on the back of the helmet. So if you're changing colors up here and you don't really know where you're looking, like where, like, like you're just changing colors and you're like, why is it not appearing on the jersey? It's because it's on the back of the helmet. So just note that. Later on, if you're like customizing the helmet and you want to apply a, a number on the front of it, the number, like the design of the number will be how you make it here in this. So just keep that in mind. So there's a whole bunch of different pant styles you can use in this game. Some of them I, I like to use more than others. Obviously this one's really nice, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be using it for this jersey because I use it a lot. The stars ones are obviously really cool, but they only work with certain jerseys and I'm not gonna use them for this jersey because I don't think it really works out that well. Actually, that looks really nice. I'm probably going to use that. Let me just change up the pant color here, make it blue. And then, yeah, I like that. That works, so I'm gonna use that. For these for these pant color I'm gonna add a logo you can add both logos on both sides of the pants but I don't really think that looks as nice um, I'm just gonna add one on the pant leg here which looks pretty sweet yeah so I'm gonna just gonna change up the socks and then we're gonna go into the helmets and the gloves and then that should be it for the home jersey all kinds of different socks you can use in this game this one's this one's really funny to use um, this one's really nice as well maybe I'll use this one oh that looks kind of nice I'm going to just change up the colors here so that it matches the jersey and then We'll see. So I'll make the base color blue, and I'll make the secondary. I'll leave that as, as red, and then I'll just make the zone 3 yellow so that it matches my jersey. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. So this is basically the home jersey right now that I'm making. I don't think I'm going to change up the skater equipment that much. I'm just going to change the glove color to the warrior to blue. I mean, what am I saying? So for the glove color, the red is going to be that outlining on, on the glove. This yellow zone 4 does make another outlining too around the thumb, which you can use as well, which I'm going to apply here because I think that's nice. So zone 3, zone 4, zone 7, and zone 11 are the ones that I use because zone 3 and zone 4 are the little outlining on the, on the glove. Zone 7 is always going to be the lettering, and zone 11 is the outlining of the lettering. So sometimes if you, if you want to just... Uh, I'll show an example here. I'll just make it pink. And then it changes the outlining there. So uh, that's why. So you can use that as well sometimes. Helmet. I'm going to change up the color a little bit because I like. I like to put a different strap on. I like to put like a blue or the, or the red strap on just to, just to make it more unique. And I like to change up the bower and just get the whole helmet looking, uh, looking kind of nice there. I'm also going to add decals onto there. I'm going to add the logo on the helmet. And I'm going to add a number on the side as well. How much time are we at? 14 minutes? Jesus crikey. Now that I've shown you how I make jerseys, I'm just going to show you guys some of the jerseys that I have made and uh, see what you guys think. I swapped the home and away jerseys by mistake, but this is supposedly what the home jersey is, or the away jersey is supposed to be. Kind of looks like one of those Cyclone popsicles you get from hockey games or, or anything really at the corner store. This is what the home jersey is supposed to look like, and I think this looks really, really nice. This looks really, really cool. I really like how the colors turned out. Moving on, I'm going to go to the Brooklyn Flash here. This is the home jersey, so I really like this jersey. This jersey is kind of cool because all those little lines that are going through it make it look like lightning bolts striking or something from a distance. Like, from, from afar, I think that's what it looks like. Away uniform is kind of... I don't know. I don't like it as much, but I still, I still think it's pretty nice. The alternate uniform is kind of cool. It's de the, the alternate and the away definitely aren't as cool as the dark one, but it's still pretty sweet and it stays along the same color scheme as well. So moving on, I'm going to go to the Manchester City. These ones are pretty sweet. So what I tried to do is I tried to recreate three jerseys from other sports. So I have, I think I have basketball, soccer, and... I don't remember what the other one is. I think it's football. If you're a fan of soccer or you're a fan of football at all, Manchester City just released a couple new jerseys, and this is the whole color scheme from their third jersey, I believe, or their or their home. Or, it's one of the jerseys. But yeah, I really like the colors that were on that jersey, so I tried to recreate it in NHL. The next one is the Raptors jersey, which I think is pretty sweet. I tried to recreate their purple jersey from when Carter was on the team and Stoudemire was on the team. 
The logo, I tried to get it close to the Raptor, who's, like, the Raptor's kind of in a running motion. And the last one is the Seahawks recreated jersey. That was the closest logo to the actual Seahawks logo, so I threw that on the jersey there. They used to have this little, like, ZigTech kind of pattern, like, weird pattern on their, on their pants. So I put the stars on the pants there to try to recreate that. So yeah, that's the Seahawks one, that's the Raptors one, and this is the Manchester City remake jersey. I'm gonna go to the Montreal Old Timers one, this is pretty sweet. I recreated uh, vintage jerseys. I recreated the Toronto Maple Leafs old jersey, but I try to make it a little bit more modern, I guess. I don't know. The colors look kind of cool. Brown gloves, brown helmet, brown pants, which is what they rocked in the uh, in the olden times. And the socks, too, which are pretty sweet. Away jersey. I try to recreate the St. Louis Blues jersey from when Gretzky was on the team. The style is kind of different. The style on the on the original jersey has, like, lines, broken lines going up, and that's you can't really use that style in this game. So I just try to recreate it as much as I possibly could. And the last one is the Calgary Flames Winter Classic jersey game. I try to recreate as much as I possibly could. And, uh, and I think I did an okay job. So this jersey is the American jersey. As soon as they released those, uh, or I saw that they had those stars going up the pants, I just wanted to make an American jersey because I thought it would look really nice. So this is my home jersey. Pretty much just looks like any like a world junior jersey that they've like the american team has used but it does have the stars in the pants there and um that's what i did there the alternate jersey i really really enjoy it looks really really cool uh i like how i got the cream on there and um the cream color i mean and i have the stars on the side of the pants so this is a statue of liberty themed jersey i uh i just like that rangers logo so i have the home jersey here which has got the statue of liberty themed colors and then the alternate jersey is the statue of liberty jersey so it's basically like a bunch of statue of liberties playing hockey on the ice if you're gonna be wearing this jersey anyways guys that completes my tutorial that completes my showcase of the jerseys that i've made in nhl 17. i hope you guys like this video Comment down below what jerseys were your favorite and any jerseys that you didn't like at all and just so I know next time I want to make jerseys just so I know which ones kind of which jerseys went were, were nice and which jerseys weren't and whatnot. Feel free to use any of these jerseys uh, in, like for your ESHL club or for the creation zone but just comment down below which ones you're using just so I know which ones uh, which ones were good and which ones you guys like. Thank you guys for watching again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.